Hello, so in this video I want to talk about um, a really cool technique actually, it's called separation of variables and um, it's really cool because it gets us, I mean it gets one to start thinking really about how how you might use integration to solve differential equations and I mean in, in, in the context of this video we're, and really in the, in the context here we're just dealing with first simple first order differential equations but in any case it, it's cool because it kind of starts stimulating some new thought at least. And the idea of separation of variables is, um, well, let's just think about it generally first. Let's just say like if we're given something like, if we have something like uh, dy by dx, right? The, uh, diff the derivative of y with respect to x and all of that's set to equal. And think of a product. So for example, f of x, uh, g of y. Well, it, follow it follows that we can write this as, as um, it follows that we can actually write this and we can integrate in this form that um, uh, it would be uh, in this case 1 over one yeah 1 over g of y with respect to y equals and I'll explain all of this in just one moment but uh, and then we'd be, on the right hand side we'd integrate our f of x with respect to x so so what just happens like how did we go from this statement this 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 uh, this uh, differential equation, the statements dy by dx equals f of x g of y to then integrating uh, 1 over g of y with respect to y and all of that being set to equal where we integrate on the right hand side or f of x with respect to x. Well, um, let's just, the best way to think about it I would say is, is it's just simple algebraic manipulation to get to this point. All you're doing is, is basically you're just dividing by g of y right across. If you look at this first line dividing by g of, g of y right across, and then you're, div you're multiplying by your f of x right across this entire thing. And if you do that, you're going to end up with this result. This is called separation of variables. And um, maybe the, the best idea really is just to get into an example and then we can sort of explicate exactly what this is saying and why it works. Uh, so um, I've got a really cool example here. Um, I like it because it requires a few, um, it requires, um, you know, a selection of skills and it all serves as good revision, I suppose, for a video like this. So let's just say that we, we are asked to find the general solution to the differential equation uh, 1 plus x squared. We've got our dy by dx. All of that's set to, to, to equal x uh, tan y. Now, um, so I mean, if one's first given this, it'd be like, well, what, what, I don't know, like, how do we even start to to, to move forward? And um, so the first thing we want to think is we just want to get this into this form right here. We have to think about how do we get it into this form, okay? Uh, so what comes to mind for me is, we, we well, we can divide right across this entire uh, equation uh, by 1 uh, plus x squared, right? Um, so actually, let's just start by doing that. So what we get on the left hand side, we just have our dy by dx, and that's then going to equal x over our 1 plus x squared, and then of course we've still got our, our, our tan y. Now notice that just by that simple, that simple move, look what we've got. We've got exactly what we have here on line 1 on the left hand side, right? We have our dy by dx, we've got some function of x, that's x over 1 plus x squared, it's some function of x, and we've got our, 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 our function of y, our g of y, that's just 10y. So we just have to do the exact same thing, we just have to use a bit of algebra and manipulate this, and so we're going to, um, we're going to divide by our 10y right across, and we're going to multiply by our dx right across. And what does that get us? Well, that's going to get us 1 over, 1 over, oops, Pen tools a bit laggy. It's going to get us whoops. It's going to get us one over one over ten y. And uh, with respect to y, right? Because we we're also multiplying by dx across this entire equation. So we're going to get then x over one plus x squared uh, with uh, dx. And that's exactly what we've got on the second line here, on the left hand side right here, right? So we can just now uh, insert our integration signs like this. So we're integrating now, 
now we can integrate basically we've set ourselves up where now we can integrate this is separation of variables and um, so on the left hand side we need to integrate 1 over 10 y with respect to y all right because we I mean and, and maybe I haven't made that explicit but you want when you're separating the variables you want your d you want your your y terms with your dy you want your x terms with your dx right uh, and uh, so on the right-hand side, then, we're also going to have to integrate x over 1 plus x squared with respect to x. Um, so this is really cool because on the left-hand side, we don't... I mean, to integrate 1 over 10y, that's not really that nice, I don't think. Uh, so we can just set that then to be cot y, and actually let's just write it out. So then we're instead now we're going to integrate on the left hand side cot y with respect to y, and we still on the right hand side we can't really do much with this, um, but there's a really important uh, point to be made about what we've got on the right hand side that I'll cover in a moment, but let's just write it all out again. So we've got one plus x squared with respect to x. Now notice on the left hand side here. This is really simple, right? This is a standard result, the integral. If you integrate cot y, you're just going to end up with the, uh, the log of um, modded of uh, sine y, right? This, that's just a standard result. And really, when dealing with uh, uh, differential equations and things, you, 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 if you can get, if you can kind of simplify things in a way where you uh, integrate and just get standard results, I mean, that, that's the ideal. So this, that's perfect on the left-hand side. Now, on the right-hand side, this is, this is a really cool point um, in that, um, in, in, in so far that um, if you, if you, maybe I'll write it up here, um, maybe I'll write it up here. If you have, if you have something in the, let's just think about it generally first. If you have something in the form where you need to integrate f, and it's something in the form of f prime of x over f of x over f of x, well, this equals the log modded of your f of x, and then you're going to have, obviously, your constant of integration. But using general patterns, we can, we can kind of manipulate things here, right? Like, l l reversely, if, we, if you want to think of uh, integration as the inverse differentiation, and on and on and on, right? Like, we could say, well, in, in the case of differentiation, if y equals uh, the natural log of x, uh, and it, the, it follows then that the derivative of y with respect to x dy by dx is just going to uh, it's just going to oh sorry this is the function of x the natural log of f of x the natural log of f of x and you are to take the derivative which is just going to equal f prime of x over f of x this is just called the general patterns and uh, that's exactly what we've got here. Like if we go back to our equation that we are trying to find this general solution for, look, if we differentiate this denominator, what's in the denominator, what do we get? We get two x, right? Well, it's essentially what we've got up top. It's just some constant then multiplied by this, this variable x. Uh, and so we can just make an adjustment to try to eliminate that constant. So then when we differentiate, we're going to get back to this. So how do we do that? Well, this is uh, we're just going to be using basically this 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 uh, general pattern right up here at the very top, uh, because well okay so the left hand side this is we integrate this this is just the log modded of sine y, right? That's just a standard result. Here this is just a general pattern, where so again you just want to adjust it to eliminate the constant. Uh, in this case. So we've got, if we differentiate the bottom, it's 2x. So we want to put one half out front to, 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 to cancel that 2. And then this is just the log, the natural log we've got, we've got right here of our f of x, our original f of x, which is just going to be, um, just going to be a 1 plus, right? f of x in the denominator, so 1 plus x squared, right? It's modded. And we need some constant uh, so we could write a constant of integration, of course. We need, so we, uh, you, you only have to really put it on one side. You don't have to write plus c here and plus c over here. 
um, but that's another point perhaps for another video. Uh, so we need to add our constant integration. We could put plus c, but in this case, we could just add, we could, we could also write the equivalent of saying, um, because we have the log, we could say well, it's plus and then some constant, the log of some constant, so k. And um, yeah, so if you were to differentiate this, right, if you take the derivative of this with respect to x, you're going to end up with what we had up top. That's the whole point of uh, making that adjustment of the one half out front that cancels the two that comes down and you're going to get this. Uh, so um, now let's just kind of work through and, 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 and arrive toward our solution. Uh, so we can combine logs here. We've got a plus log k, that's the point. We can combine logs. This one half, and this again, basic log properties will come up here. Then that's the same as like one, the root of one plus x squared. Um, yeah, so it's going to simplify nicely. So we've got our ln mod sine y here on the left hand side. We've got our one half comes up, it's the root. So we've got uh, the log, we're modding it. We've got our plus k, but we're combining logs. So that's going to be k root one plus x squared. And now we just anti-log, right? That's all, we, that's all we've got to do. Anti-log and we're going to get sine y equals k times the root of one plus x squared. There's nothing really else that we can do here. So this, is, this, is, this is perfectly fine. And this is the general solution. Now, note that you can find particular solutions in certain cases that you're given boundary conditions. Um, um, you, in, in, uh, in this case, we're not given a boundary condition. Um, so we can only find the general solution. 